The next step of preparing giving for donations would be just making sure that you have all the funds ready for donors to choose from. So let's move over to the manage tab at the top and then funds is the top option in the left column. So funds are really important to giving. Um, the idea of these are you're able to use these to, for donors to um, determine what the intent of their donation is. So for example, we have a few open funds here. We've got like our general fund that's just for um, any discretionary money can be used wherever it needs to be used. Um, you have like a building campaign, you have your missions fund, things like that. So all of those funds are set up so that donors can choose from the donation form or admins can, can choose or counters can choose while entering donations into giving. Something to kind of point out here, I said this at the beginning, but um, giving is meant for tax deductible donations only. So this isn't designed for um, you know ticket sales or reimbursements or to be your bookkeeping software, but instead you wanna make sure that every fund you have in here is 100% tax deductible since that is the purpose of giving. All right, so um, I wanted to show you a few ideas around funds as well. There's different types of funds that you can have. You have your open funds and your default fund. That's the one that like anything that isn't selected, it's gonna to default to the general fund. You have all these open funds. You have a few here too that you notice here, it says link only and hidden. So link only is the visibility of the fund. It makes it so that really uh, donors can only access it if they're sent the direct link to that fund. And then hidden makes it so that it, and so donors on the donation form aren't able to access that fund or select it, but admins or counters on the admin side of giving still can enter donations with that um, fund uh, attribution. So. Those are some options there for um, for those different types of funds. The last one, I'm sorry I didn't mention yet, is closed funds as well. So when you're finished with the fund, you're no longer getting donations in for it, you can close it and in a way archive that so it's no longer in your active list of funds. All right, so one quick tip I wanted to show you on this funds page before we move on is just that you can also reorder your funds so that if you want them to be in a different order in the drop down when you're selecting them, you can do that simply by clicking this little hamburger menu on the left side and you drag and drop it in the order that you want to be in. So just a quick tip for those who are managing their funds and wanting to kind of reorder what those looks like, look like.